In Fresno, there's a lot of farmland, a lot of farm workers. They, they don't have any time to find medical service in the area. So we come up with the idea that they cannot come to us. So we reach out to them so that we can provide the service they needed. It's hard for the parents to like take their off from the uh, work. And uh, in our mobile, we get everything done within like 30 to 40 minutes. Then they can just come one time and solve their problem. And the kids have glasses and it helps both parents and the kids. So I have glaucoma, retina bleeding, and macular degeneration. I have a form that's called Best Disease. So eventually I am going to go blind. My grandmother had it, my uncle has it, my mother has it, I have it. And so it passes throughout the genetics. My right eye, I have um, scarred tissue and I have blind, well, it's completely blind. And in my left eye, um, it is, I'm like 2200, so I don't see very well. And uh, I'm light sensitive, so I always wear sunglasses. And I don't like to scare kids. <laughs> I have two children, and so I was praying that neither of them had it. We used to have a doctor who was out here, and they, they had an optometrist, I believe, but now they don't have that anymore. It was kind of hard because I work full time, so I have to take, uh, take her to the doctors to Fresno or to some other areas that it's kind of far from here. She's been having a lot of problems with her reading, um, like a year ago or something like that, but we don't notice that. I didn't know a way to figure out how to read and write. It was blurry and, and I couldn't really see um, the words. bring them back in the exam room. I check their color vision, I check the alignment of their eyes, I check their 3D vision, and I check how they're seeing, and then I check their prescription myself, see if they need glasses or not. I put eye drops in their eyes to dilate their eyes. And there's glasses on the wall and your While they're waiting for their eyes to be dilated, the child can go out and choose a pair of glasses that they'd like. And then I bring them back in the exam room after about 15 or 20 minutes and make sure their eyes are nice and healthy. I grew up um, in Fresno County, so it's nice for me to come back and serve the community that I grew up in. And I, you know, I see a lot of needy children, so I feel really good about myself that I'm able to give back to my community. To have the mobile vision here, it's amazing. It's good because it just takes me like five minutes to bring her over here and that's it. I feel grateful and I love these glasses. I never want to lose them. Them having this out here to help with the community, it's really neat. Especially people who don't drive like me. I have to jump through hoops or, you know, do different transportation to get to where we have to go. So this is really, really a blessing. Today, my daughter did not need glasses and so far so good, but I mean, it can show up still, but it's really important. To, to just keep an eye on it. It's a weight lifted because I don't want her to go through this, but I want her to also understand if she does have to go through it, she can get through it, it's fine. It's, you just learn how to do things differently. I like to see the smiling face faces from the, from the client. It's good that you are able to you know, spend, contribute your time to help people as long as you can solve their problem and you can continue to provide your help or support to them so that they can have a healthy and happy life.